this is our van. This is the 22 Winnebago 4x4 Revel with the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Picking up our van. It's right behind me. There's a nice blue bow on it. <laughs> this is gonna be our new home <laughs> because we're homeless. Now we're not anymore. It's prettier than I thought it would be. This is gonna be John's job. <laughs> this is his only job. No, no, no. Yes, no, no. yes, yes. <laughs> this is where our nasty go. <laughs> This is a six-cylinder turbo diesel engine with an automatic transmission. It has 188 horsepower and a 220 amp alternator. Okay. I think I should be afraid. <laughs> I should be very afraid. <laughs> this is gonna be our home. We are really living in the street starting today. <laughs> Alright, my name is Tony and I'll be going over the B-Van Rebel. We're going to start with the outside, go over the systems, and then we'll go start on the inside and all those functions as well. Taking off more paneling is what takes the most. Uh, since the chassis batteries are on the inside, if you do need a jump... The house chassis has two 125 amp hour lithium ion batteries. It has a power lift bed. The van is 19 feet and 7 inches in length, 10 feet height, and 7 feet and 1 inches in width. The interior height is 6 feet and 3 inches, and the width is 6 feet. Fresh water tank capacity is 21 gallon. Gray water tank holds 21 gallon. Fuel capacity standard with these vents is 24.5 gallon. It also comes with a 3 cubic feet refrigerator slash freezer. Hello, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Tiny home on wheel, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. This is the 22 Mercedes Rebel Sprinter van. And today I'm going to show you all the upgrades that I did on this van. So in the front bumper, we have California Tune Steel Bumper with the Baja Design LP9 lights. Very blindy. You control the lights with the Switch Pro 9100. And a worn wireless winch. Oh, this has synthetic rope. And we have Shackle from Kenyan Adventure 2. And we have the engine skid plate underneath. This is the Terran Wagon Leading Edge Protector. I also got the hood wrapped in this black mat. The windshield has the UV protection film. So I recommend you get in that ASAP because when you sit up there, the sun is, is really hot without it. And I did an XL film on the lights. I have XL ceramic coating on the front bumper, hood, windshield, and front of the roof cap. So we have right here is the new suspension from Van Compass. This is the 6.1 adjustable suspension. So setting is one, two, or three. One is stiff, two is medium, and third is the softest. So if you go in off-roll, it's three. Number two is normal setting, just road driving. And one is when you're in the highway and it's a lot of wind. It handles washboard roads really well, as you can see in my previous video. And it keeps you from having to air down also. These are KO2 tires. It comes standard with a van. This is the Mondo Wheel Wheel Expansion. So you can run bigger tires. When we got the suspension, it did give us a two inch lift to the whole van. So you have more clearance. So this is your cassette, also your black water. It comes out. <laughs> comes out like this. And you know, you just, it has wheels. So you just roll it to the corner. <laughs> I never use it, so I never have to worry about it. Down here, you have your gray water. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> okay, so this is the skid plate right here. 
That's the skid plate for the engine, the T-cross, and the transmission. So this right here is the 40 gallon fuel tank. And this is the first thing I recommend you doing because then you're gonna be getting gas every two hours. No, actually three hours of driving because it's only come standard with a 25, 26 gallon tank. So I recommend you upgrade this as soon as you get this van. Okay, so that's the fuel tank right there. And that, this row over here is the skid plate. There. I'm gonna roll around down here, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Show you what I'm looking, ooh, that's hot. This is the exhaust and it goes all the way over there. This huge thing right here is the exhaust. Oh gosh, this is really close to my face. It's like a couple of inches from my face. Can I get out this way? Okay, yes I can. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, I'm out. <laughs> so this ladder is actually quite scary because the van is not flat. It's actually a little bit curvy. So when you're going down, be very careful. <laughs> So now we're on the roof deck and I'm going to show you the before and after of this rooftop. <laughs> oh, and another cool thing is that you can mount this traction board right here. So this is a front runner mount right here. So you can mount all your traction board up here so it doesn't take up too much room. So what's cool about this roof deck is it, let, it allows you to mount things anywhere that has this little bar system this is one of the mount this is another one so the two solar panels used to be right there and right here and we had them move on top of the ac so now it's right there and the ac is right there i'm on the roof deck right now and it is very high up here i think i'm about 15 16 feet up here <laughs> yeah Okay, so this is why I'm not always up here because I'm scared of going down. <laughs> yeah, so you can't really go straight down because the ladder is kind of curved. So you have to really watch your step when you're climbing up and down, especially climbing down. Okay, what else? So back here, what do we have? We have the owl ladder and tire carrier. This is also another method spare tire. And I did put a lock on it because you never know people. We do have this extra large box, expedition box. This is the larger side. There is a large box and then there's also an expedition box. And there's actually two tier box too that you could get that's even bigger. And then we have the one up bike rack. And it looks really, really nice, but I, Honestly, don't recommend it because these bikes are electric bike and it's about 50 something pounds. I can't get it. Like, there's no way I'm getting this bike off this rack. <laughs> and I'm 5'3". So, if you have a lighter bike, I don't know if you could even get it if you're my height. So, it looks really, really nice, but you're gonna need someone stronger or like a ladder or some, maybe they could have been a pulley where you can like, put the bike up and down really easily. Okay, what else do we have back here? Oh, we did have the step, owl step. And I had to relocate the trailer, trailer receptacle because it was mount down here. And when we go in off-road and we hit a rock, that would be the first thing to go. So we had them remounted up here, which is not any better, but it's at some protection at least. And when we installed the exhaust down there, this is the exhaust. They, this is where the gray water originally was located. And when they installed the exhaust, they put the gray water inside our van. So we had to relocate it over here and it worked out really nicely. So we just remounted on this side. I did buy this metal door stop. It is the most expensive piece of metal you can buy but the cool thing about it is you can stop the door halfway and it stay like that 
versus, you know, the door moving back and forth when you don't have that. So was it worth $55 on Amazon? Probably. <laughs> So I show you the exterior, now I'm going to show you the interior. This is what we did, so come on in. There's also another net on the side door that I also like to use. And this one, you can see right through. So it's just going to keep the mosquitoes and bugs out. And you just zip it on both sides. Like now it's completely zip. The only bad thing is that this magnetic Sometimes doesn't close all the way, so it's a little bit frustrating that you have to manually do it. But it's not so bad, so you could open like that. So I really enjoyed that feature to go in and out really quickly. Let me show you around the van. It has CarPlay, so it's really nice. This is the front. So this is the screen that you get when the camera is on. You see this bike that's taken up like 80% of the screen. So when you have the bike on, you don't really see what's behind you. So it's kind of hard to drive in reverse. This is what it looks like with the bike off. So a few things that we bought for this van is this net right here. It's almost completely useless because the sticker keep peeling off. So I'm always worried to put anything too heavy on it because I just don't want it to drop on me. So I had this replaced once already and I'm not, I'm just not gonna deal with it. <laughs> so I don't really recommend it too much, but it's very good for your sunglasses. And we also got this weather tech mat for the front, which is probably another good investment if you like to go off road and get your feet dirty <laughs> or shoes dirty. These packing cubes that I bought it's a lifesaver because this van is so tiny but with this packing cubes you take it out and it's this big right here so in here you can sort it out with packing cubes so you know one for your top another one for your bottom and so on and so forth and this worked really well for me because then i could always know exactly what I'm looking for. I don't have to dig through the whole cube for things. And it's not <laughs> stiff, so you could just stuff it in there. So that's another great buy for this van. So I really enjoy that and it makes organizing so much easier when I'm getting dressed in the morning. I also have this pouch here in the back because when you buy this van, the back doesn't have a pocket anymore. The older edition did, but not this one. So I bought this for both sides, just for the little things. Another thing we bought was this table for the center. And it is really hard with this here. It's not, so I don't recommend getting this on the driver's seat if you have this table, because it's always gonna be colliding with each other. Okay, so this is supposed to be the middle table. And it's nice if you don't fold it out. If you fold it out, that's what happened. So you don't get the full length of it. And it doesn't matter which way you twist it, it's not gonna fall out very nice. I don't know, see? So, <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I can't figure out how to use this table to the full extent that's meant to be or maybe it's meant to be back here I don't know yeah maybe you're supposed to sit here so if you're back here then maybe this is the only table you need so right there but then your leg space there's not a lot of leg space it's like two inches leg space so I don't know and then we got this table also which flip out that way. And I've just never sat back here. So I think this one would probably work better than the middle table. So if I were to pick between the two, I would just probably just get that table and not get this one. And it just get in the way of everything back here. So this is the interior of the van. You have your sink here. Then you have storage here this is where we put all of our 
utensils. Another small storage here for miscellaneous. And then another one here for another miscellaneous and a deeper one for cleaning supplies or in my case, a water pot for my ramen. You have your spice rack or some people I think use uh, this as their toiletry area here because the sink is right there. And then I have a magnet towel holder. Over here, I have my pots and pan. And this is my stove. This right here is the double stove. And it folds up really, really nicely. It's my most used item. And I take off the handle so it could fit in the drawer. Everything folds like that. And then this just go on top of it. And that's how it looks like all fold up. So this is another thing I recommend buying for your van is this fan. So with this van, it everything every time when you move it rattles, and you're always trying to locate all of the noises everywhere. And this rattles the most, and we can never figure out how to stop it. We even thought about replacing the fan, and it just doesn't work. But then we bought this, and the noise stopped. So I highly recommend for your mental health to get this. <laughs> so that there is the bed and you could show it here. Turn it on. <laughs> you can show it here. Push that button and it goes up and down. The AC is mounted up there. So it is quite noisy when you're sleeping. So just keep that in mind. The bed area doesn't have any holders, so I add this tote thing on both sides. And another one over here. So you could have like some place for, you know, tissue box, medicine, whatever you need. So it's nice and convenient next to your bed. Oh, another thing that I recommend getting for this fan is this topper. This is the Tempur-Pedic topper and it's a life changer <laughs> because the actual mattress is not comfy at all. So the first thing we bought for this van was this mattress and not mattress, this topper. So it was such a good buy worth every penny. This is the GLSS system. I guess system is in the GLSS. <laughs> this is the lounge system. And we also get got a water cover for it. This is where all your water controls are. Realistically, I've used this back area once and it's not very comfortable to sit back here if you're taller than I am because my head right now is almost hitting this roof and I have the bed all the way up. If I was in an area for a long time, then maybe it might be good, but I'm usually just there for two days. So I don't really use this area too much. I always just sit in the front to eat because the view is typically nicer up there. <laughs> not the bed riser, but this one. Honestly, I do not recommend the bed riser because when you're taking away about a foot of space down here and you pack it full, you're losing a foot of space up there. And if you're taller than five feet, your head is gonna be bumping every time you sit up up there and you're gonna be closer to the AC. This is with the bed riser and the bed all the way down. So with the bed riser, I'm 5'3 and I cannot sit straight. <laughs> this is without the bed riser and the bed all the way down. So this is without the bed riser. I still have this much room, probably about six inches from the roof and I can sit up straight again. I am 5'3", so if you're taller than 5'3", then you, you're probably gonna have less space. <laughs> so you have to think about what is more important to you, where you're gonna spend most of your time. Is it gonna be up here or down there? The best riser does give you a lot more storage, but you're gonna lose a lot of this space when you're up here and you're gonna be closer, way closer to the AC. So for some people, this will be great, but for me, it just 
it was in the <laughs> it was in the stores the entire time I just got it out today to show you this whole upgrade another thing is this table right here I thought I was gonna use this table more but I haven't been used it at all it still has that paper it's just really odd it's like slanted it's really pretty it's bamboo has a cup holder again if you're gonna live back here more then yeah could rotate whichever way you want out there too so yeah i've just never back here enough to utilize all of this i thought it looked, would look really cool and i'm gonna be back here a lot this fan also has this really nice feature and they have this privacy screen in the back and you could drop it as slow as you want but you could zip this down completely so it doesn't flap in the wind like that this is how this. you open it on the inside so you have fresh air and you don't have to worry about the bugs there is the net right here so back here it has these net that you can store things in on both sides and then you have more storage up here this is where we typically keep the starling and then another bag to store your tools and it's pretty deep but again if you're storing this you're losing space when you're sitting back here can you see the helicopter behind me <laughs> there's a helicopter right there <laughs> that was the noise that you saw in the background was that helicopter taking off <laughs> okay so now I'm going to tell you what are the three things that I would upgrade if I were to get this van. And that is the fuel tank, the 40 gallon fuel tank. Another thing is I would definitely get the suspension. Another feature would probably be the air vent up front. And anything else you could probably live without. Everything else is just for comfort and aesthetic. I don't really recommend it if you're on a budget, but those three items is really, really important. Windshield UV protectant is probably as important as the vent. Maybe it's more important than the vent. Okay, so if I were to pick, it'd be the fuel tank, the suspension, and the windshield UV protectant. That's it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye. Mwah.